This week, we've talked a lot about showing kindness to others. But as I was reflecting on this topic, I realized that sometimes I really struggle to be kind to myself. In both the Old and New Testaments, Leviticus 19 and Matthew 19, we're taught to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I never thought about it in this way before, but doesn't that imply that love for self is a given? It is normal and natural, dare I say even necessary for me to care for myself and place value on my concerns and desires. But why? What makes me so important? Well, we can look to the Bible for some ideas. It starts in the very beginning, Genesis 1:27, where it says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. We are created in the image of God. His likeness is embedded in the depths of our consciousness. What makes me, me, and you, you, resembles God Almighty. How humbling is it to know that we inherited, so to speak, our best traits. What makes us the glory of creation straight from God? Romans 5, 6 says, You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Okay, so we know God's son died for me. He died for you. But how do we truly wrap our human brains around this concept? I know I'm not perfect. I struggle. I doubt. I hopelessly fail every day at being the best version of myself. But that's just it. Jesus died for the worst version of me, not the best. He made me worth it all. He sacrificed himself for me with all of my flaws. And in doing that very thing, he made me perfect. And that is why I am worth it. I'll just leave you with this encouragement. Be kind to yourself. Not doing so can cause a whole host of problems and even keep us from being kind to others. Remember, being unkind to self doesn't just lessen the warrior. It also lessens God, our creator.